In February of 2011, the local governments, they had a call for projects to submit the unconstrained list, the $2 billion list. And the unconstrained projects are the ones that you see on the middle table back there in red. Um, all of the projects were originally on the unconstrained project list, but those are the ones that were not selected. In May, the GDOT Director of Planning reviewed all the projects and made sure that they met the criteria that was selected by the roundtable back in December. In June, our executive committee began selecting those projects. They had their three meetings to select those projects. And that's where we arrive at today, where we're holding these public meetings to get, gather the public input on these projects, to find out what the public really thinks about how this fits into our regional transportation infrastructure. Um, on a, by October 15th, the Regional Transportation Roundtable must adopt a final constrained list. They must adopt a final transportation or final project list. If they do not, the law has um, some caveats for that. If the roundtable does not adopt a final constrained list by October 15th of 2011, all local governments must match their current LMIG funds at a rate of 50% and wait 24 months for this process to start over again. Could you say that? You want to interpret that? Yeah. I'd just like to read oh. or slow. I understand that, but I, because I've been involved with it, it's important yeah. to a small community like mine. If the roundtable does not approve a project list by October 15th of, this, of next month, all local governments must match the current money they receive from LMIG, which is what we were talking about earlier, at a rate of 50%. That would be about how much? Right now, the current match varies. Um, in some cases, the match is zero, but it varies for, depending on the type of project. A common word, he's the chair, right? Of the round table. Of the round table. Right. Now, if they don't get together with his other cohort, decide on who they're going to pay, what they're going to pay, and everything, by October the 15th, then we have to start over all over again and the cities are responsible for 50% of the company. Yes, of the money that they currently well, receive. Just like right now, Atkinson County is going to get $250,000 for some paving projects, repaving that. We would have to max that with $250,000 if this. Well, 50% of it. Okay, well, 125. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you were trying to say. Okay. How much the Lowndes County got, and that we would have to match 50% of that if we were going to. Uh, receive any of that funding. Hang on, hang on just a minute, guys. He's going to clear some of that up and you'll give him just a minute to go through the process that they had to follow based off the law. And then he'll ask or answer any questions that you've got. Just, I just wanted to add, answer a question. Um, in, in the city of Valdosta, we're getting $256,000 this year. Okay. 